Hey, OG got his head busted over like a wallet another two after that shit. Yo, 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 Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, first and foremost, man, <laughs> shout out to FBG Butter. Um, I know he ain't too right when it comes to the streets, you know, as everybody say. And his involvement with talking to them people but aside from the street stuff that he got going on, that man is a real life comedian. I don't know what happened either because he actually used to follow us on our official Instagram page, which is hookah anonymous underscore. But I guess we did a video covering him cooperating during a whole old block case that he didn't like. So we unfollowed, which is cool. No hard feelings at all because that's actually more common than people think. These guys will like, you know, what you're doing until they're the butt of the joke and then boom, suddenly they don't agree with you. Or they don't like you whatever i'm really not sure but i know that's how it goes however butter is comedy and in his recent interview with dj vlad proves just that now although butter was being butter he also said a little too much to have people on social media stating that butter either still cooperated behind the scenes or he's just begging to get himself a rico charge now not to mention y'all know i always say that these drill guys love to treat the quote unquote other coaches different when it comes to doing interviews and certain things that they can or cannot say, and Vlad definitely proved just that. I say that because if someone like 16 Shot on Visuals or Truth Teller or DJ UTV was to come out and say what Vlad said, it'll be a whole different response from Butter. And I'm not just saying Butter, but we're using this, you know, this whole situation as an example. But um, this is why other cultured platforms feel it's okay just to say whatever to these guys and not only that but i find it funny that now dj vlad is starting to interview guys from the drill scene and i say that because as soon as i seen fbg butter had an interview with vlad i automatically thought to myself why right and no disrespect to butter but butter don't have an album or anything coming out so other than just asking about the fbg duck case and the cooperating part and all that why would vlad be interested in interviewing butter you know, unless Butter paid to be interviewed himself, who knows? But anyway, we're going to get into the clip and then talk about it after. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm and subscribe to the platform if you aren't already. Now let's get into it. Jay May said it was, it was Fredo on the cut making shit scary like Freddy for us. You know, I'm the boogeyman too. I'm my mama. You got shit bag over this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, OD got his head busted over like a water mill too after the shit too. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, right? Hearing Vlad tell someone, then you got ish bag <laughs> is insane. And you gotta understand journalism to understand the long pause and the leading up to the statement and all that. Now, I don't know why Vlad felt he could say something like that or felt so comfortable, but he damn sure did. But let's be real. Vlad knows who and who not to play with, but clearly Vlad did his homework and knows the sequence of events, which led to Butter actually getting what he called ish bag. Now, before I get into the bravery and boldness of DJ Vlad for saying what he said, let me give y'all the backstory for the ones that don't know what was going on in that clip. Now, the situation that Butter was talking about first is Butter trying to convince the world that he's just as scary as Fredo Santana. As y'all know, the most infamous moniker of Fredo that was started by Little Reese when he stated, Fredo in the cut, that's a scary sight. Now, according to Fredo's associates and even some of his ops, whenever you seen him, it was definitely a scary sight. And a person who can attest to that is FYB j -Main because he explained a situation where allegedly he feels that he almost lost his life at the hands of Fredo Santana himself. He's been doing interviews explaining the situation and according to FBG Butter, 
He's just as scary as Fredo, despite him not getting the same type of recognition. Now, we can't sleep on Butter because word around town, Butter, you know, put hands and feet on a lot of his ops, and he's known for his hands. And some even say that despite the cooperating and joking ways on social media, it was a point in time where Butter really did get active in those streets, allegedly. However, the problem here is that he wants to be known for it, and he's saying to himself on a very, very popular platform. You know, it's one thing to have did your thing in the streets, but if you was really like that, then you wouldn't have to say much because the streets would speak for you. Perfect example, King Vaughn. We may not know King Vaughn personally or know if he did this or that, but you know that King Vaughn must have been a problem some way, somehow, because even his ops vouch for him. Now, whenever your ops can sit there and not front on who you are, then you know you must have really been active because it's not too many times your ops will actually give you that credit or give you the benefit of the doubt, you know, publicly like that. Because at the end of the day, they're not trying to make you look bigger than you actually are. But like I said, when you're really in the streets and the streets could talk for you, then it's a whole different story. So the moral is when you've actually been in the street doing whatever you claim you've done, you wouldn't have to say anything because your reputation will speak for you. Your peers, your ops, your neighbors, whoever it is, someone would vouch for you. But when you have to speak on yourself and try to convince people that you actually did X, Y, and Z, especially on social media, you're not only incriminating yourself for the world to see, but you're also looking like you're trying too hard. You're trying to tell people or trying to let people know that you're this or that. All right? It's like doing the most to convince people that you really like that. And I think that's why everyone on social media was laughing at FBG Butter. But with Butter being Butter, I don't even think Butter cares. Now, fast forward to after Butter speaking on being quote unquote the boogeyman himself, Vlad will go on and say, but you got ish bad. <laughs> and for y'all that don't know what that means when he says that or what he's referring to, when someone gets ish bag, it's when they get shot majority of the time and have to walk around with a colostomy bag. That's when you get surgery done for whatever injury that you receive. And then you have to use the colostomy bag in the area for the waste in your body to pretty much exit through your bowels. Right now, after Vlad said what he said, Butter will go on to say, quote, N.O.D. got his head busted open like a watermelon too over that. Now, <laughs> rest in peace to O.D. Perry, but thank God he ain't alive. Right. Because if they was wondering who did what, there you go. <laughs> and once again, it's funny because these be the same guys that tell you, oh, the blog saying too much. These bloggers be instigating. These bloggers be incriminating us. All oh, these people on YouTube just be fans. They don't know what they be talking about. But in reality, most of this information literally come from these guys themselves. They are the source. You know, like, come on, brother. Why in the world would you say that? I know he was trying to prove a point, but it's a time and place for everything. And Vlad knew exactly what he was doing and got the exact response that he was looking for. But Butter just took the bait. So like I said before, if you knew nothing about the drill culture and you was green, uh, if you watched this interview and heard Butter's response, the first thing you would conclude is, oh, OD gave FBG Butter ish bag for doing so-and-so to him. Right? You see how easy that is? So either Butter really was caught off guard or just caught in the heat of the moment and had to come back off what Vlad said so he don't look, you know, too weak or something, or he just really don't care. Or Butter knows OD isn't here, so like he said it on live during Oblock's trial, he don't care about speaking on what the dead did because they aren't here to go to jail anyway. And that's just me paraphrasing. But anyway, when it comes to the other part, where I always speak about when I say that these guys give other platforms too much leeway, opposed to urban platforms, this is a perfect example. I have expressed before that a lot of the times when these guys are interviewed by urban interviewers, as a journalist, blogger, or whatever, we already know with certain questions we wouldn't ask and certain topics we wouldn't bring up out of respect for the guests because we don't want to incriminate them. But for some reason, when these guys get on platforms like No Jumper and Adam22 or DJ Vlad, they allow these guys to say whatever they want and ask any questions, whether it's incriminating or not. Now, we already know how Vlad is down. That's that just goes without saying. But how many times are these guys going to get in front of these cameras and not only incriminate themselves, but be made a fool out of for the world to see before they say, you know what? It ain't worth it. Like, I couldn't imagine 16 Shadows telling Butter in the same circumstance, well, you got ish back. You know how crazy Butter would be? You know how he would respond? And this is what I mean by we don't be having the same energy for quote unquote others 
but be quick to turn up on each other at any given moment. All right, but it is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about DJ Vlad remarks towards FBG Butter. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.